guys, I'm Bulma, and joining me is the Dookie Knight, Pip. What? I'm not the Dookie Knight. <laughs> I'm the cool guy knight. Yeah, it's already, you already changed it in the driver's license. No. It's official. Dookie Knight The Dookie forever. Knight. No, that wasn't a, uh, a, <laughs> it's a misspeak. Binding. He's not the Duke. He is the Dookie Knight. <laughs> the Knight of Dookie. <laughs> oh, man. The Endless Duke. The dookie knight. <laughs> I kind of like it. I'm just gonna. What? <laughs> Nothing happened. Oh, what yeah. are you talking about? I didn't die. That seemed. What? That seemed totally not suspect. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. Um. So we're back with some shovel knight. If you couldn't tell by our big shovel. Yes. <laughs> um. I played this a little bit this morning. This level. Uh trying to, you know, do a record, and after a while I got to a point and I realized, oh, if I keep um, slashing and jumping on the little save point orb things, that I get like thousands of gold and all this stuff each time, so I just went la 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 la, I'm like two levels away from the boss, and I start smashing the save points, <laughs> and I'm like, gold, <laughs> give me, like I looked like the, uh, like a reverse of no face from Spirited Away. Like, I was just ah! like, give me! And, uh... <laughs> I like it. It was a good, good <laughs> mental image. Yeah! Um, uh, I was just a big blobby mass. <laughs> and then I realized, I got to a point where it was kind of difficult, and I kept dying, and then I realized that <laughs> like, instead of it showing all the Aww. save points, there were big red X's on them. Aww. And it, so it put me back to before the last uh, save point that I destroyed. Oh. So don't do that, guys, unless you're super confident yeah. you're not gonna die, unless or- Unless you're feeling strong. Or like, like I was telling Pip, that's probably a good way maybe to farm for gold off camera or something, you know? Like finishing a level, but right before you finish it, go back and destroy the other save point. Like, if, if you really, like, I think it'd be a little too much out of the way to do all that. Uh, I know, I was- <laughs> Like I said, so I kept dying and had to keep going back and doing like three levels just to get back to where I was to die as soon as I get there. So I was really frustrated and just quit the recording, deleted the video, came back to it after taking a break, and this is what you're seeing now. And yeah, I just had no patience, no time for anything. I was like, I'm just going through. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. Secret? I don't care. So I'm sure some of you guys are going to yell at me. Oh no, it's <laughs> alright. I know when I'm watching a video and I'm like, oh my god, you didn't pick up the Mercado, what are you doing? That was like the best item in the game. Uh, and I'm like, come on. Uh, I, I just had no patience for this level. The music was getting on my nerves. I was like, oh my god. Nah, 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 and mocking it. Well, I got home. Long rant. I got home. <laughs> it's okay. I got home in the middle of the... Specter yeah, at the end of the next recording, you'll see. Yeah, the next level I do. The, yeah, the next level after after this one. Pride to more keep. And uh, I started to play it for just a little bit. <laughs> Extra note. I tried going back there um, uh... when, like I said, in my previous recording that I deleted. And first of all, it was hell to get in onto that little area where there is an outline of the shovel knight, and I died a bunch of times. And then when I finally made it, it the the wall like rotated and brought me to another area where I believe there was a treasure chest, but then there was just some more BS in the way and I died. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god, that took me so long to get here and I just died. So extra nope. Extra nope. Pip is very you know, please be my guest and uh, get that stuff. Yeah, I was about like well, the little helmet. Yeah, I was about to say, well I came home and uh, I saw for playing and it looked super fun and, and she was like, can you please try your hand at this boss? Yeah. I, I've grown super frustrated. Cause you can't just turn off the game at the right before the boss level, like, or else you have to do all the levels all over again. So I'm like, I want to get this done in one one recording. Yeah. Please do this for me. Yeah, so I, no, no problem, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> so I sat down and filled with it for a bit, managed to beat the boss, finished the recording, and so, and I was having so much fun that I did another recording. Real quick, and another this is recording. the area. This was the last save point that I had saved at my previous one. So each time I died, I had to come all the way back to here just to 
Yeah, and I was... <laughs> okay. Madness. So yeah, you were playing the Spectre Knight, uh, or fighting. Yeah, and... yeah, no, just I did a recording, fin <laughs> finished the recording, and I was having so much fun that I thought, well, I'll just do another one. Look at his lazy little claw <laughs> grab he does it. And, uh, well, in so fact, though, I ended up sitting here for, like, three or four hours and beating the game. He's like, meh, I guess it's Yeah, no, he, he just went through and, like, chugged the whole game like a gallon of milk. Yeah, so... <laughs> I hate these rats, I have such trust why, issues. <laughs> why are you so mad at the little rats? They're so cute. I know, I, that's they're, what I thought at they're first. They're fleeing Red Wall. They're fleeing, they're fleeing, uh, uh, Clooney the Scourge. <laughs> Come on, anybody? Anybody? So I know somebody out there is like, oh man, I remember that shit. <laughs> and if you don't, your childhood was bad and your parents should be disciplined, yelled at. Oh, uh, you know, actually, I heard... Um, Go yell at your parents for not letting them read, for not reading you Redwall as a child. That made me think of, um, I don't know why, probably because I saw it today or yesterday, but I heard this song and I was like, this sounds really familiar. <laughs> and, uh... I looked up what it was from, and it was from Watership Down. I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that shit was terrifying. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. You, you know what I'm talking about? Say it again. Watership Down. No. That, uh, I think there's... It's like... A, focused on the, these, like, bunnies and animals and it was animated. Uh, Bill for me while I look it up. It wasn't about the rabbits, was it? It was like really dark. It yeah. wasn't about the rabbits, was it? <laughs> oh no. I think I know what you might be talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rabbits over in like the English countryside? Yes. yes. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. I was no. like. No, 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 no. Guys, if you don't know what she's talking about. Please. It's terrifying. I was like really little. I don't it, remember. It, it's like super dark and hardcore imagery of like rabbits killing one another and like running through the countryside and trying to survive. Yeah. It, dude, it's gnarly. It, it's and, you know, the, ra the rabbits can talk and stuff amongst themselves. I hate this part. <laughs> well, nothing. That's it. It, oh. it was just really hard. It was like it was hardcore. I remember watching it. Yeah, watching it as a kid. Yeah. I was, was like, whoa. It's freaking scary. Yeah, like, like that was hardcore. I remember thinking that as a kid. Like, I'm whoa. sure there's like bits of it on YouTube or something, or you can find it online. Like, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, or like, what Water is it? Ship Down. I didn't know that was the name. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that name will forever be in my head. <laughs> that was a good one. Hold on. After this uh, next little jump cut here, I'm gonna yeah. tell you guys a tale. <laughs> We gotta spin a tail for us, Pip. I'm gonna spin a tail for you of childhood woes. <laughs> <laughs> That was a real life representation of the audience. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. I hate this level. Like this part in particular. This is what oh, I meant messed. To... Go ahead. Oh, this is what messed me up in my previous recording. Like, I hate these books. Every time I saw them, I was like, Oh God, it's you again. <laughs> it's on a timer, and you can see uh, you have to bounce off the book and then hop on the thing. And then there's mice, little rats things that try and get in your way. Vaughn was and... just platform challenged. No, and then there's lava. It's really <laughs> hard. <laughs> Look. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, when I was younger, uh, when I was a wee pip, um, my grandparents had a book called The Little Red Hen. And it was, dude, it was from like the 40s or the 50s, you know? Like, it was old school. But it, it was all drawn really, I mean, it was old when they were reading it to me, like 20 years ago, you know? It was old, it was falling apart. And it was drawn really well, kind of by hand, all the drawings were drawn by hand. And it looked creepy as hell. Nightmare fuel. Total nightmare fuel. The wolves, like it was about this, uh, it was about these two wolves that lived up on the top of a hill. Uh, uh, you know, Papa Wolf and a Mama Wolf or whatever, you know, and uh, and the Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen was out minding her own business, working her garden, and one day the uh, the wolf up on the hill was like talking to his old lady, the old lady wolf, 
and was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna go and uh, capture that little red hen down there and we're gonna eat her. And so, you know, prepare a big pot and start boiling the water and I'll be back by the end of the day with the meal. So he puts on his big black boots and his long red coat and he makes his way down to the little red hen. And the little red hen is out in her garden working. And uh, there, are, there are drawings for all of this. You know, you know, it's it's creepy as hell the way they're drawn. Again, I cannot emphasize it enough. It <laughs> There's was, something about that old time creepy. Oh, it's terrifying. And and as the little red hen is out walking, working in her garden, the oh, he, by the way, when the the big the the wolf left, he left the house on top of the hill. He throws a big sack over his shoulder. He's got this big long red coat, and it, it's just. He gets there and he's he hides behind the door of the little red hen's house as she's working in the garden, and he and he's peeping at her through the through the crack in the door. You know when it, when a door is left open, there's a crack and he's peeping at her. And there's a picture for it, and it terrified me almost into my adult life. <laughs> I, mean, I was like 16 when I finally shook it. <laughs> having people sneak at me, sneak a peep at me. <laughs> and, uh, the Little Red Riding, the Little Red Riding, uh, the Little Red Hen. Different story. Yeah, different story. Little Red Hen uh, comes in to her house with her, you know, her harvest, and the wolf slams the door closed. And he's like, I'm, gonna, I'm here to eat you. And uh, the Red Hen jumps up on the rafters of her house and, you know, outruns him for a little bit. And she gets eventually gets tired and falls down, and the, the wolf snatches her up in his sack and throws her over his shoulder and starts walking back up to the hill. And you know, so and so about the narration is like, you know, it was a hot day and stuff, and so the the wolf got tired, and so he laid down to take a wink or two, <laughs> and uh, you know, feeling secure in his in his uh, mission for the day, having captured the little red hen. And uh, so he takes a nap, and the little red hen pecks her way out of the bag. And as she's on her way home, she's like, you know what? I could just go home and leave this bee, but screw that. <laughs> screw that. He's going to come back and mess with me again if I do that. So she so sews a boulder, like a, a small rock, small stone, big stone, into his uh, into the sack. And he gets up sack to... Stone. Sack stone. Sack <laughs> stone. And so he gets up to the top of the hill with the big boiling pot of water. And the old lady wolf standing around, she looks just gleeful as hell about it. Get it, queen! Yeah! yeah. Oh. Poof. And they he upends the, the, the stone from the sack into the pot of water, splashing boiling hot water onto both of them, scalding them both to death. Yeah. And, and, and it ends with like, and the little red hen, you know, sat at home reading her book and... and, and Enjoying all the peace. Meanwhile, the the two foxes laid upon the uh, laid up on the hill, dead. You know, like they snapped to a picture of them. The t like the the old the 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 wolf laying out in his in his coat and his boots, and the mom fox laying out in like her bonnet and PJs. Like, oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Just dead, super dead. Like steam coming off of them. <laughs> And, you know, there was a remake where they were like, oh, and they, they splashed themselves with water and learned their lesson and ran off to a different place in the woods. How quaint. How quaint. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I've never been able to find a, a, the, the, a copy of it, though, other than the one that I read at my grandparents long, long ago. I remember um, when I lived in Germany, we had a... Uh... A class specifically for learning about German culture and stuff and some days out of the week maybe once a week or something we'd watch a little cartoon of the Brothers Grimm and I remember that being really intense too. <laughs> hey, yeah. like, just like you know the different fairy tales and stuff they were you know it looked like it was for kids but it was super intense. So. But guys I, I hate to cut off Bulma but we're running out of time and yeah. after this guy delivers the hateful message, it's gonna be daily uploads here on no. The Daily Brief. See ya! <laughs>